Welcome back to another episode of Let's Queer Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with me, Mick, your adventurous and explorous. So look, last episode, oh, who's moving around in here? Last episode, I got a little bit overwhelmed, I think. I, I was really bummed about not being able to win that Gwent game. And I just didn't take in the full majesty of this new place. I mean, look, here's a named man with a great hat. That's a plus. Um, I talked my way out of fighting with these bandits over here. That's a plus. I still haven't actually shopped with the innkeep. And then, and then look at this. This is, this is great. Actually, I much prefer tavern decorations back in White Orchard, actually. Okay, so that's a definite minus. Things are kind of ugly here. Um, oh, look, there's a whole nother area over here with nothing. There's nothing here except a back door. Okay, well, let's talk to Bruno real fast. Fully appreciating the newness of our situation. Huh? What? We're simple folk. We seek no quarrel. Okay, so you're wearing a great hat, you have a name, and yet you have no interest in speaking to me. F you, mister. F you, mister. Hate crimes. Okay. Hmm. Greetings. Hi. Uh, let's see. All I can buy is alcohol? Let's see. Wouldn't mind a drink? Show me what you got. Oh, he's got other stuff. Stop trying to fool me. Okay, I've got 657 gold. First of all, <gasps> commander's horn. Only 10? Definitely. Uh, siege card. It's a Nilfgaardian, though. Uh, oh, these are all Nilfgaardian cards, aren't they? Mmm. Can I buy all of these things? Ooh. Look at three random cards. That's not even useful, though. You know what? I'm gonna buy these three in hopes that I can maybe win a, Gr a Gwent game at some point in my life. And then, do you have anything that's inexpensive? Uh, apple juice, 50. 21. Okay, that's not bad for the water. Pepper. Oh, that's great. Okay, and then we're also going to buy all the water you have. What's this? Baked apple. Oh, okay. Raw meat? No. Dried fruits. Let's buy all of those. Okay, I'm feeling a little more, uh, a bit more comfortable here. Um, Rendanian and Mahakaman spirit. I don't think I need that. Let's see. What can I sell you, though? That's a question. Do you want... Oh, yeah. He'll buy some junk. Love it. Let's see. White wolf hide. We'll definitely sell that. Flowers, for sure. I'm gonna keep that lily key. Fist tech. I'm ashamed at you buying drugs for me, but then I am so I'm selling them, so fair enough. Pig hide. Worn leather pelts. Bye-bye now. Vials I'll keep. Silver mug. Oh, I probably could have melted that down. Oh, well. Old goat hides. Bye. Rope ladder. No thanks. Skull. Nah. Mug. Bye. Smoking pipe. Times four. See you later. And goblet. Mm, see ya. Okay. Well, I got a little bit of money back at least. A little bit of money. I don't think... Yeah, he won't buy anything else. Except for food. But I'm not selling him that. Um, okay. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, tell me more about the Bloody Baron, though. Who is she, though? Bloody Baron. How do you get that moniker? Is there a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army... Some blackens had hold up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out. But the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. 
Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Huh. So it's more complicated. It's not just funny, haha, -ha, he's actually nice. And has the name Bloody Baron, but actually he really is a Bloody Baron, but the story he's known for is a lie. That sounds like politics to me. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folks say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Interesting. So he, he's working with the Nilfgaardians. And he's essentially just hoping that the aristocracy will continue just under a new emperor or ruler. Mm, okay. Bye. Thanks. Farewell. That was relatively useful, actually. I, I know a bit more about the Bloody Baron now, which is good to know. Let's see. Is there, is there anything... Oh, did I not look at this? What the hell? That all you got? It's all. I swear on the poor nipper's grave, sir. Dear, they took. Thank you kindly. Won't be no use to anyone if you starve to death. That's the blacksmith. Normally, they're kind of, you know, the inn at the crossroads. Okay. Well, that's a. That's a very upsetting looking sign just to be an in sign, can I say? No, I'm not gonna steal this man's stuff. He won't talk to me. Can I walk in this house? It's locked. Okay, the Nilfgaardians are treating people very badly. Very, very, very badly. Oh, goodness. Forefather's Eve approaches. Twill soon be Forefather's Eve. Tormented souls, souls who've not known rest after death. Hungry, tired, scared ghosts, they'll soon walk among us. Carve the jacks, prepare yourselves. Okay, whatever. Consider yourself informed. Every man with a producing milch cow. Okay, we read that. Just still in people's cows. Guide wanted. I've need of a man to guide me and my family across the pontar. Five of us in all. Me, me wife, three young'uns. But they's calm, not the crying or yelling sort. Won't give us away to the soldiers. I'm not rich, but whatever I've got, I'll give. In fact, I'll take on debt and go in someone's service. Anything... Long as it gets us out of Velen. Please, please, someone, hear my plea. Radost. Well, he may not be the kind of person I'm looking for, but I'll help him if I can. From the innkeep, you'll buy your drinks at the inn at the crossroads with Novigrad crowns. We take no other coin. We don't do tabs either. Nor exchanges, save for eat or drink. If anyone doesn't like that, they can go rut for acorns. Okay, okay so he's fully... Fully won over to Novigrad, I guess. Or maybe he didn't put this out. No, it says from the innkeep. Well, who knows if it really is. <gasps> Missing Michael! That's my real name! Why it's even spelled that way. My trueborn brother, Michael, is missing. Anyone who finds him, or at least finds out what fate has met him, will be generously rewarded, and I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the inn at the crossroads. Bruno. Oh, Okay, new marker, undiscovered location. Missing Michael. What else? Anything else? Contract, missing brother. Interesting. So, so did, I wonder if that other note I found, asking for... Is that... Asking for help getting across the Pontar. Oh, it is. It's them, I bet. A new new quest available. I bet it's right there. Why, though? Seems a little odd to me. Okay, wait. Agent called Hendrick and Heatherton. Okay. I've got no boards down here. Oh, there's so much to see. I'm overwhelmed. Boats can be used to travel across bodies of water. Maybe I should pop down to this, get this boat, and then take it back up to them. That's a thought. That's a definite thought. 
Uh, I don't know how dangerous this. Or maybe I should just run across and talk to them and then go get the boat. Because they're probably going to send me for a boat anyway. What, what kind of quest do I have right now? Oh my goodness. So this I'm working on. I'm just working slowly. Uh, Hendrik, yes. Find a boat headed to Skellige. Okay. Uh, visit Triss once I get to Novigrad. Okay, Wild at Heart. Talk to the hunter named Nellian. While muddling around the well-shaded village of Black Bow, Bow, Geralt happened across a notice that said a hunter named Nillian was looking for any help he could get in finding his wife, who had disappeared in the nearby woods a few days earlier. Geralt, already deep in a search and rescue vein, decided to help find the woman. Okay, where is that located? Oh, all the frickin' way down here. I mean, that's good. I'll do that later. Okay, okay. Interesting. Let's talk to Bruno and go ahead and get this information because I, I need to go through the rest of those quests and see what else I have. I can hardly remember. It's piled on. Too soon. Yeah, I was here earlier, not a second too soon. Excuse me, hello, goodbye. Did you not notice I was a witcher then? I'm here about your contract. I understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mikkel. Been a week now since you took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Okay, well, for one thing, you spelled his name differently on your sign, and half the reason I came here, sir, was because you spelled your name just like the voice inside my head that is very gay named Mick. I'm just saying that, but, oh, whatever. Um, yeah, let's talk about the reward. Well, it sounds like he was a do-gooder. Maybe. Maybe old Mickle. Okay, I'll look for him. I'll look for him. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Uh Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back! They got lost, is all! But, if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills, he'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of them. Think I know enough. Thanks. Hmm. See, I do that too, but my life is less interesting. So I buy new boots, and then I, you know, walk to check the mail or something. This guy, we have the same impulse. Let's wear something fancy and new that we bought, but his life is just significantly more interesting. However, as I think we've determined, it is a curse to live in interesting times, because this little shithole village is not much. Do y'all have something to say? Your people who will talk to me? Guess not. What about you? You look like, oh, a literal bandit. You're just a bandit. You're just a straight up bandit. Okay, these are stables, I assume. And therefore not actually interesting to me. Oh, no, no, that's just part of the inn. Did I walk in here? What does this say? Oh, fast travel. No, 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 no. Can I do, though? Oh, so I can go back to the royal palace and, and fight that guy again. That Or not fight, but... um. You know, uh, challenge via Gwent. Okay. Let's see, okay, and everything else is locked. Okay, so let's go back to the map then. To the quest, I should say. So, that's pretty far away. Okay, so this was for that... That, uh, what's that? Eternal Fire Priest, yeah. I don't like him, but it does seem like a, a thing that would help these people out. And I assume there's a... There's some amount of money involved. Funeral pile. Okay, so these three are pretty close. I could maybe go talk to this family. I assume that's that family. Um, and then go on and do the funeral pyres. Complete collection of glint cards. Win. Oh, who's that? Show me, show me. Who is that person? Where are they? Ooh. Oh, far away. Far away. Okay. Is this... Uh, this is a place, but I forget what it's called. Okay, but I'm sure they'll tell me later. Um, okay, so back to quest. Witcher contracts. 
the missing brother oh suggested level 33 jeez louise that is that's is hugely difficult there's no way i can do that but i just want to see where it is okay it's way up here missing brother level 33 you have lost your mind you have lost your ever-loving mind there's no way i can do that um so i'm just gonna put that away for now uh, what we're gonna do is this is closest to my this is at my level so we're gonna do this and we're also gonna go ahead and mark this right here boop uh not quite I think what I'm going to do is just swim across the river. Oh! To be- Excuse me! Oh! Indeed! Actually, actually, is this a pigsty? I think it is. I was going to meditate in there, but I don't want to- I'm not meditating by the frickin' bathroom. Which is the nicest possible word for it. How about right over here? Can I climb up this onto this roof? No. Impossible! For a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible. Okay. Let's just meditate until daylight. I know that family wants to get across the Pontar real, 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 real bad. But, uh, daylight just makes everything easier. Okay. So I'm going to leave Rochi where he is. Uh, actually, here, Roach, you come and you come and chill out in here. It'll be at least minimally more more protective, safer, safer, safer. The word is safer. Where is he? Oh, he's coming around. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go on inside. You're gonna go inside. such a ridiculous horse fine just stay there i mean i really had a reason i see red things why are those red things okay drowners over there something dogs maybe up there what is this oh some kind of oh okay does that mean that, that that's also what's over here? Just something we can pick up? Is that red dots? I thought those were enemies all this time. Yeah, there are red dots that are popping in and out around me on the map. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm just going to hope that those drowners aren't going to run across the river and attack my boy. Okay, I'm going to avoid those drowners, which is definitely a good thing. Oh, no, I'm not. There's a ton more over here. Oh, shoot. Is this family even still alive? I'm starting to find it uh, unlikely. Okay. Come on, girl. Come on, baby. Get your ass up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Jump, girl. Okay. Not allowed. Not allowed. No big deal. Okay, so first, pretty sure those are drowners, so we're gonna put our necrophage oil on our sword. And I've got full everything, so I should be G to G. Let's get my Quinn up. Okay. I hear wolves, though. Are these just wolves over here? Pretty sure these are drowners. Drowners. Oh! That was not well done on my part. Oh, I think this family might be dead. Oh! Oh! Come on then. Come on then. Oh! Dang it. Oh, and I haven't saved, so I need to be very careful. Ooh. Are there three on me now? Oh, something to loot. 
I thought I saw. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this is not turning out to be very impressive. Oh, I found a runestone randomly. Okay. Okay, okay. Ha ha! Here I come, back, back, back again. Y'all don't even know. You thought you knew, but you didn't. Oh, is this the guy that left the message? Oh, he looks like a soldier to me. Have, wait, have I reached though? I'm a little confused. Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't see anything here. There's nothing here. And maybe I'm missing something. Wait, let's, let's look again. Celandine, very nice. The heck? Oh, blood moss. Okay. Much less gross than it looks initially. Um, well, girl, I guess that's not where that family is. I guess maybe that was just rando. I don't know. Okay. Come on. Sorry, sweet baby. But if you're coming for me, I got to come back. I got to clap back. That's my style. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, I'm failing so hard. Ah! Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh! Quinn, 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 Quinn. Ooh, these are some big dogs. Y'all come into the water? No. Okay. I'm weak and I'm pathetic, and that is true. Okay. Come on. Get our Igni ready. Let's get our sword out. Come on, come on, come on. Show me what you got. Oh, getting me good. Ooh. Eat it. That is a big dog! You're the size of an elephant, boo-boo! Ugh. I guess I'm just- maybe it's because I'm not a dog person, but I find these dogs to be quite difficult. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, I'm sure I couldn't lie, because you see me struggle. You have watched me struggle. Okay. That's not even what I was coming out to do, but you know, if I tried to fight the ghouls without fighting the dogs, the dogs would have attacked me halfway through fighting the ghouls, and then I would have looked even more pathetic. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. What is that? Oh, I've hardly heard it at all. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I didn't expect it to be this hard. Oh, I'm using the wrong... Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, oh, got me good. That's all right. Ah, uh, not what I meant to do anyway. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay. Oh, and I still haven't saved. I just remembered. I haven't saved. Oh! I very much need not to die. How long are you gonna make me? Come on, you mother... You... S oh! Oh, get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, it almost got me, girl. That was just one singular rot fiend? He just about kicked my butt. 
Oh, lordy. Okay. What do we see? What do we see? Use, that is, burn holy oils. Now for a shot of igni. I don't know how holy these oils really are, to be honest, but, uh... Is anything else gonna come? No, nothing. Nothing else. Okay. I'm gonna let it burn for a second, because it might... There might be some loot in here. I mean, maybe not, but... It's worth checking, I think. No loot around here? You'd think there would be something, wouldn't you? Am I... Am I just, like... Spoiled by my easy life? Maybe so. Next is way out over here. Jeez. Okay, let's read the Rot Fiend's entry real fast. Bestiary. Okay, so related to ghouls. That makes sense. Of course it reeks. Think they're called Rot Fiends because they smell like roses? Vesemir! Witcher of the Wolf School. Rot fiends resemble decomposing human bodies that have been stripped of their skin. Delicious. Their presence is given away by the overwhelming stench of the rot, which gives them their name. Devourers are a particularly dangerous kind of rot fiend, marked by an insatiable appetite for human flesh. And that's something we have in common! Not true. Uh, uh, false news. False news. Fake news. Fake news. Okay, and they're vulnerable to the, the same thing as ghouls. And drowners. Interesting. Okie dokie. Well, I guess this isn't... This is just going to stay lit, I guess. So it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, how far is it to the next one? Should I get Roach or should I just run it? Oh yeah, I think I should just run it. Mulberry Dell. Oh, but the other one's over here. Maybe I should just... It says to go to this one next, but I don't see any reason why I have to do that. Um, you know what? Why don't we just, why don't we let it be itself? I'll listen to the, to the overlord. The overbrain. Big brother. Which I guess really, the programming is all of those things within the game. I mean, I joke about how I have god powers, but really, those are almost just a gift, and they are very limited, right? Oh, speaking of that, speaking of my limited god powers. Just in case, just in case, y'all. You know I am not the one. I will be ups. Ooh, hello, goodbye. <gasps> not very useful, but it's exciting, though. Exciting. Uh, some deer. Doe. A deer, a female deer. Ray, I'll drop off golden sign. You're welcome. Gosh. I don't know what y'all did to deserve that, but you should do more of it. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Ghouls? Ghouls. Definitely ghouls. Okay. About to get it. Let's see, maybe, let's try a potion too, I think. Uh, let's see, first put our necrophage oil on, and then, why don't we do, symphony limits, well, that could be useful. Cat, no. White honey, no. Tawny owl. Hmm. That should be on my things all the time, shouldn't it? I'm out of swallow already. Uh, um, actually, okay. Well, why don't we just take it? Oh, I'm almost. I'm already such a high toxicity. Actually, I better not. But you know what I will do is, oops, I will eat something real fast because I think my health is nothing to write home about. Eat a dumpling. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Bring it. Yeah, the sun's a gun. Stinks like a mass grave.
Yes, all right, you got me, but I'm gonna get you, you son of a gun. Woo! All right, all right, come on now. What is that horrible sound? Ugh, did they make that sound? It's gross. It's almost sounds like a fire, but it's like wet. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like it. Ugh, not at all. Nice! Well done, me. Uh... Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I should've done a big hit! Well, I could've done better, but it, it wasn't horrible. It was not horrible. Uh... And there is a... Is this loot? Yeah. Ashes! I hate everybody. Okay. I'm gonna burn this mess. Now burn it! Shot of me. I appreciate that uh, reminder. Because I'm the kind of person that puts quarters into the dryer and then just walks away and forgets to start the dryer. It has happened multiple times in my laundry room in real life. Okay. There's something over there, but is that it for corpses? No, 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 no. Over this way. What is that sound? There's something else hanging around, but I can't figure out what it is. Ooh, I might figure out soon enough. Because it might attack me! Okay, let's see. Uh, you know what? I am gonna eat a little something just to get myself back up where I was. Because I was feeling so good. I was feeling very, very good. Uh, why don't we do just a little bit of bread? Oh, eat it! And where was that? I heard a noise. Big noise. What is that? If it's a bear, I'm just going to run away. But, oh, it sounds huge. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, is it a bear? Oh, it is a bear. Okay. No, no, no. Running, running, running. Is it still behind me? Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna let that bear be itself. I don't wanna kill a bear. Am I the only one? Am I like a, a loser or something? Um, you know, I'm already almost here. I was thinking I might just pop up and check this out real fast before I go back through there to come out over here. Or I might do, you know what? Why not explore a little? I could. Uh, we're gonna check this place out first. It's right behind me. And then we'll maybe come over here, hit that maybe. Maybe hit this uh, as we're coming back around. Okay, it'll take a minute, but we'll do it eventually. La da da, la da da. And hopefully this place is nice because I need a good place to meditate, actually. Uh oh. Well, there's something that's living here. Dog. Is it a dog? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wrong one. Oh, he got me with that double bite. You son of a gun. Oh! I'm tired of you dogs making me look stupid. It's not my fault for being stupid. It's your fault for being better than me. And that's the trick. What was that? Roasted a dog. Must have been pretty darn hungry. Well. Sounding. To me, that's understandable. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, I saved people. Oh, sweet little girl. Eight. A week back, 
half a charred squirrel, and a handful of berries. Um, what's better, food or coin? Uh, here, take some coin. Uh, why aren't you with your parents? Actually, that's the best question. Let's see if we can get to the root cause. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Oh, poor babies. Here, uh, take some coin. Don't have any food, but maybe this'll help. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. What did she give me? Aww. A doll? Don't give me your doll, girl. See, I do that sometimes. I've been known to do that. Give someone something that I love, which is just junk to them. I'm just gonna sell it, but anyway. What's happening? Woo! And, and uh, oh my goodness. Read 30 books, journals, or other documents. I'm surprised I didn't get that earlier. Uh, okay. In beast clothing. They entered his hut and began to search. First they tore through his bed. Dried twigs covered the sheet. That was the first proof for werewolves return at dawn after a night of hunting, their bare feet covered in the forest droppings. They found the second proof under his bed, a wolf's hide. The werewolf surely dressed himself in it when transforming with the setting sun, and shed it again when he turned to man the next day. Having found these powerful proofs, they ceased deliberation and began the hunt, vowing to find the lycanthrope and bind him in sil silver chains. Lycanthrope. Lycanthrope. Okay, why did this pop up here and now? This is my, my question. Where did I pick that? Did I pick that up here? Oh, I did! Werewolves. Why are werewolves added for this? What? All kinds of new things are added. Okay, let's check it. Let's check it, because I'm confused. Cursed ones. Oh, oh. Wolves are as bad as they're made out to be. I don't know about that. Werewolves, though, they're every bit as bad and worse. Some archer somewhere. Werewolves are creatures with both men and wolves inside them. When in beastly form, they take the worst traits from each. The wolf strive to kill and hunger for raw flesh, and the man's cruel and calculating intelligence. A werewolf's condition comes about through a curse, and the transformation happen transformations happen outside his conscious control. When he reverts to human form, he has no memory of his deeds. Otherwise, he would surely go mad and take his own life. Werewolves are active at night, particularly when the moon is full. Though they hunt alone, when threatened, they will summon wolves to aid them. Werewolves rarely feel the need to flee, for few adversaries put up much of a fight against them. They strike as swiftly as lightning with claws sharp as razors, and regenerate any damage received in mere moments. When fighting werewolves, a witcher should wield a blade covered in oil harmful to the cursed, and have a large supply of devil's puffballs handy. Interesting. A werewolf's curse can at times be lifted, yet there is no universal surefire method for doing this. A witcher seeking to undertake such a task must therefore equip himself with a great deal of patience and sturdy armor. Mmm, interesting. So, uh, moon dust, devil's puffball, cursed oil, and igni. Igni. I love igni. Okay, okay. Ulfidin. Ulfidin. What's that? Some kind of fish? Professor Artibus Johann Rack, geographer. Disappeared during a surveying expedition in Skellige. Ulfdin are a breed of werewolf found mainly in Skellige. The, uh, the harsh and barren conditions of the Isles might explain why they primarily hunt men and are stronger than their continental brethren. Older and particularly dangerous Ulfdin are called Vorafs. Only a few daring warriors in all of Skellige history have managed to defeat an Ulfdin, and each of them is commemorated in ballads as a hero to this day. Like werewolves, Ulfdin and Voras are active at night, particularly when the moon is at its fullest. Fast, fast, strong, and amazingly resilient, these creatures kill with disturbing ease. 
Silver Blaze should be brought against them, as should Devil's Puffball. Take note that when near death, an Ulfton becomes particularly dangerous and will attack with doubled fury while calling on wolves to come to its rescue. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, thank you, little girl. What's going on with y'all? I mean, is there something else I can do for y'all? Oh, I stepped on you, I think. So sorry. Okay, whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna steal. Is there's nothing. Oh, sh I should have done something else. <laughs> Maybe I should have given them food instead. I thought the money would be more helpful. Because you can use it for all kinds of things, right? But the amount of money I gave them will not buy very much food. And I know that for certain. The Nilfgaardian Court Martial has found Dragomir, son of Anastasius, guilty of betraying his oath of loyalty to his new rightful emperor, blah blah, by eavesdropping on conversations between Imperial soldiers while serving in the army group center canteen and then passing on reports uh, to Redania. The condemned is sentenced to death by hanging immediately, immediately. Where is, is he somewhere around here? Oh, he was up there. Oh, jeez louise. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Sounds like drowners over there. Or maybe like, well, it could be Neckers or something. I guess these kids are relatively safe for now. I mean, I feel like a jerk just leaving them here, to be honest. Can't I jump? I think, can I jump? Is that a ridiculous thing? To ask? Wasn't I jumping all over the place before? I thought I was. Okay, well, whatever. Um... I know I can jump. I believe in myself. Do I want to pop... There's a board over here. I should pop by this. Um, you know what? Why don't we leave this for a little bit later on? Because that, that looks like its own thing. We're going to pop over here... And I don't, I don't want to call Roach because I feel like I miss a lot. I feel like I miss a lot if I, uh... Something's on fire down here. I, f I feel like I miss a lot if I just gallop through it. I said I wasn't going to come over here. It's looking very interesting. Will these guys talk to me? Probably not. Hi. Hi. Nothing much, huh? Oh, there was a battle here quite recently, looks like. Okay, well, we're just going to continue on taking our own little path here. No drowners, at least. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there would be. Picking up bits. Oh, hello. Oh. Well, I see now why there are no drowners. You guys are patrolling. That's one thing. I mean, look, Nilf Guardians are kind of like police officers to me. Uh, I'm really am not a fan of them generally, but if they're going to help me, uh, you know, stay safe from monsters. Oh, no, I'm not ready to do that. That's a level 33. Girl, hell no. Hell no. Hell no, 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 no. Can't, won't. What was that sound? Yeah, but like I said. Or like I was saying. If you're going to help me fight drowners or ensure that drowners don't attack me every step of the way, I'm happy, man. I'm happy when you're helping me. If that's what you mostly did was help me, I have a very different relationship with Nif Guardians slash police officers. But that's a story for another day. Okay, we're almost to this place. What is this stuff? What is this? Oh, I don't think I've ever had that before. Maybe I have, I don't know. Okay, so I see a bridge. Uh-oh, I hear something scary. Are these dogs going to attack me? They shouldn't. No, no, no. Okay. Um. Don't hit me, sir. Oh, I'm not going to hit you. Elder abuse. Elder abuse. Well, bless you too, ma'am. Oh, shady merchant, huh? I like some shade. Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What? Yeah, what for? 
What, what? What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? A hundred. Um... Can you go any lower? Look at me, I'm gorgeous. No I'll flirt. Well, hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? Hmm... Yeah, what? Well, what? What do you want me what to kind do? kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Scavengers. The problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them. You know, them monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. Hmm. Wait. Okay, I'll... Wait, wait, wait I want to take the quest. It won't let me. Delusion level one. I'll think it over. All right. See what I can do. Yeah, where's this quest? Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, I think I'm probably going to do that. But first, so let's see if... White one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm white. What? It's not the thing I'm proudest of about me, but yes, I am tech I'm white, yes. I certainly am. Um, okay. Where's the notice board, hey? Heard no monster will come near you if you stuff all Long your live Where you get garlic, Oh, I see. I see. Like puking up the swill in the canteen. Um Well, I don't know whose fault that is. I mean, it's definitely yours. You look... I love, uh, your outfit, but I have a feeling you're not gonna like me. Disgusting. You're hateful. Okay. Beware the enemy lurks within. Yesterday evening, we discovered Nilfgaardian soldiers hiding in the camp. They were clad in civilian attire, pretending to be refugees. The camp commander asks vigilance of all of us. Be wary of your neighbor and keep an eye on him. If you notice anything suspicious, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's a lot of, uh... Well, this is probably not... I mean, there are literal witch hunts going on uh, not too far from here, so it's kind of a scary place. All refugees are report to the quartermaster. He will distribute food ration cards. These shall entitle the bearer to one meal per day. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'll take that. Names, Bert Smith, born in Meadton in Lower Tamaria, looking for my family. We got separated on our way north. Okay, keep an eye out for them. Due to the possibility of an outbreak of plague, the transit camp commander has ordered refugees to take daily baths. Wash yourselves, people. It's for your own good. That's very true. That is very true. Take that bath, girl. You'll feel better. The regiment commander instructs all refugees staying in the camp not to wander outside its grounds after dark. Hostilities continue in the surrounding region. Redanian guards shall treat anyone encountered outside the camp after dark as an enemy. Does that count for me too? Am I going to get attacked? So I'm not pleased about that. Contract, Woodland Beast. Let the, the following be known far and wide. There's some monster in the woods outside Novigrad doing great damage to our war effort. Anyone, anyone who tracks it down and kills it will not only fulfill a patriotic duty, blah blah, Together, onward to victory. Sizable coin reward. Note, the reward has not yet been claimed. Attention, if the monster is not killed by the end of the present month, taxes for the entire region will be raised by one-fifth. Wow. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna track that. It's right beside me? Wait, wait, wait. It can't be right beside me. I don't believe it. Talk to the commander of the guard post by the bridge to Novigrad. Okay. Oh, now he's got time for me. What do you want? Well, he looks a little scruffy. Uh, I saw your notice, though. Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. 
We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport. <laughs> Dares take the high road. When he ran to bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. <laughs> the patrol out. Looks never came back. Oh well. So the job's simple. Bring me that fucker's head, and I'll give you gold. As much as the notice says, I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. But I can throw in a pass that'll get you across the ponto. So, deal? Sounds fair. See what I can do. There it is. There it is. I thought maybe I could uh, find another way across that pontor. Ooh, I need to be level six. I'm almost level four. Examine the site where the transport was attacked using your Witcher senses. Okay. Well, you know what? We've got a bunch of good quests. We definitely, I know I just came from here. We definitely have a plan. This next episode I'm going to do, there's a quest here. I can't do this quest yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that off. And then we're going to pop through here and here. Check out Hangman's Tree once again. Just, just to see if there's anything we missed there. Because I ran out of there pretty fast, for whatever reason. And then check out this that looks like a Colosseum, kind of. Very interesting. And then on down, on down. And then I think right around here, somewhere around here, is another pyre to burn. Yes. Exploration station!